Hey, I just thought I'd go live today. I'm recipe testing this new pumpkin bread recipe that I found, and I just thought I'd bring you along as long as we're recipe testing, because if there's all the Halloween stuff and fall stuff already in the stores, I guess it's time to start using pumpkin. So to my blender here, I'm gonna add um, a can of pumpkin, put that in the bottom here, because this one just looked good. It actually has no sugar in the recipe that I'm using for my inspiration recipe. I'm gonna actually put some, but uh, this recipe actually just has maple syrup, so that's good. And it's gluten-free, by the way, which I think was, I thought was interesting too. So I've got the pumpkin in there, and I'm also gonna add, just for uh, moisture, I like, because I my banana bread recipe, I always put a container of applesauce that gives you a little bit more mo uh, moisture without the oil. Again, it'll also add a little sweetness, but I always put that in. So I thought I'd try it here too. I have a couple of bananas that are very ripe, which is what inspired me to make this. I have some bananas I needed to use here, so I'm using them. And then there's two cups. Oh, I'm gonna put the eggs in first. Two eggs that I've got here. We'll crack those in. Some people might crack these into a bowl first, but I'm living on the edge here. Maybe I can get them cracked here. There we go. One. How is everyone this morning? Starting to try new recipes for the fall from holidays. Pumpkin. Now I pre-measured the spices. This is a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. The holidays are here. Make sure your spices aren't too old. If you haven't used your spices in a while, get new ones because they don't last forever and you want your flavors to be as bright and yummy as they can be. Like I said, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of brown uh, sugar just for richness and a teaspoon of vanilla. Yum. And then I'm gonna do like a teaspoon of baking soda. Teaspoon and a pinch of salt. Make sure I got everything in there. Pumpkin, bananas, eggs, put the oats, baking soda, salt, vanilla, oh, maple syrup. I've got a quarter cup here that I filled a little bit too full of maple syrup. Get that in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then two cups of oats. Uh, I'm using the um, Trader Joe's gluten-free oats. They're my favorite. So those are the ones I'm using here. And then let's give this a whirl and see what happens. I have a new blender here, so we'll see. I'm trying out the blender. Getting used to it having to be locked and all that to blend. But here we go. Okay, I'm going to scrape this down a little bit. The oats are getting all chewed up in there. It looks so good. What an idea, has anyone made a, a loaf like this before with oats instead of with flour and ground it up? I don't know, it looks so good. And of course, anything that I can make easily gluten-free is always good too. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, that looks good. Looks like we've got the oats ground up there. And then I'm gonna take the blade out because we're gonna mix in a little treat here, a little half a cup of chocolate chips just for fun. You can leave them in or out however you like. If you like nuts, go ahead and add some nuts, whatever you like. Recipes are a guideline in my world. So here I'm gonna add half a cup of chocolate chips and stir those in. I don't wanna grind those in, so I want them to still be chips. And if you want more than that, more chocolate in, in yours, go for it. So there we go. That is going to be our pumpkin bread here, gluten-free pumpkin bread off the blender here. I'm going to do this. And let's put it in the pan here. I've got my pan prepped just with some parchment and I did grease it a little bit so that the parchment would stick to the bottom of the pan and come out easily. Get the get my spatula here. And I thought that looked like an easy, yummy fall recipe that probably has, I don't know, a quarter of the calories of what you buy at the coffee stores because it has no oil. So it's got to be 
better for you than what is in the coffee stores. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so yummy, doesn't it? And easy. I mean, that didn't take long. And boom, we're ready to go. Now, just for some decoration, I'm going to take another quarter cup of chocolate chips and just sprinkle them on the top for a little decor. And boom, there you have it. Gluten-free pumpkin bread ready for the fall. And I will post a picture here in the comments when I get it out of the oven. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Follow us at Hostess Coach.